Hello YouTube, Mr. Angus Wangus back for a video here. Um, I'd like to show sort of a thing I've kind of came across and been wondering about. Um, I've been working with the Tesla hairpin circuit. Uh, my last vids uh, were about that high voltage Tesla hairpin. But I've been, I've built a new wheel, you know, <laughs> I've got a few projects on the go. and wanted an, an output with good inductance uh, output uh, to work with because I wanted to do some testing with that Tesla hairpin capacitor arrangement with a lower voltage and just to see what would would happen right and I've been doing that and I have to catch up on making videos for that too which will be coming um, but I I got wondering about this um, hairpin capacitor arrangement and I want to show you something um, that's pretty cool I'm you know, wondering about wondering uh, different opinions about this out there um, and wondering about how it might be a good variable capacitor and and we'll see that here uh, in the vid um, but I, first I want to show you first, uh, I have it on the um, resistance or continuance setting. And when I short them out, you see that the meter goes to zero, right? <clears throat> but I want to show that there's no continuance across these capacitors, right? No continuance or if we connect it here no continuance right and we connect it here we do right because I'm basically testing the resistance of the coils up here and you can see that there's small gauge wire <laughs> uh, 360 ohms right so I've been testing with that and doing different things and um, but want to show this uh, variable, variable capacitor setup. First I want to talk just a little bit about uh, tank circuit and, um, and RLC circuits and then I'll show you the um, sort of eccentric RLC circuit. That's a good variable capacitor. Alright, I'll be right back. Clip number two coming up. Okay, clip number two. <clears throat> I just want to show the um, tank circuit, right? I've talked about this in the past uh, in relation to Ed Leeds Gallman's circuit. I had noticed he had a capacitors on his wall and was wondering about a tank circuit and resonance in his system. But basically, uh, like we talked about before, you have your inductor, that's the L and the C is the capacitor and if you pulse this circuit um, or pass a magnet by the inductor at a certain frequency right you'll get resonance now you can put a co any capacitor with any inductor but each different arrangement of values of capacitance and inductance will result in a different resonant frequency of that system right the energy oscillates back and forth from the inductor to the capacitor like we talked about before. And in theory, um, this uh, oscillation could go on forever, right? With no resistance, right? But we know there's inherent resistance. But in theory, without any internal resistance here in this inductor, um, this would oscillate forever, right? And that's what the textbooks teach, in theory. So, then what we can look at is the RLC. So this is a LC circuit or tank circuit. What we can look at is an RLC circuit, or LCR, however you want to say it, which basically puts a resistor in there. Now what this does, and I'm going to test this and show it here in a second, is the resistor changes the capacitance value of the capacitor right so you can you can tune it having a variable resistor here you could tune this circuit and find a resonant frequency 
Now, at the same time, the resistor is going to uh, dampen the oscillation, right? <clears throat> and this also is what the textbooks teach, is that uh, in this RLC circuit, theoretically, this won't um, oscillate forever, like this one theoretically will, um, because of the resistor. It'll dampen that current until it's gone, right? But you can pulse this circuit, uh, tune the resistor to find the resonant frequency, and find resonance, right? And this is not a tank circuit because of the resistor. But you can tune it and find resonance, right? It's like a radio does this, right? <clears throat> well, with a variable capacitor. So what I want to show now is um, just this little... Capacitor. This is my LC meter. This is my LC meter, and it's set to 2,000 microfarads. I've got a lot of microfarads here, so I'm hooking it up to this variable resistor. I'm going to turn the resistance all the way down to start with, and we'll see that I have a capacitance value of 1046 microfarads, right? Now when I tune this resistor add resistance, you'll see that the capacitance drops as I add resistance, right? So you can tune your circuit, right? It's not going to be a tank circuit, but you can tune your circuit, right? And we've seen this and, and done this before. Not such a big deal. Um, but I want to show you uh, sort of an idea as it relates to this hairpin with two capacitors next. And I'll turn that all the way up. There we go. And I'll be right back for another clip. I want to show you another setup. Now realize that my variable resistor here uh, I have a whole box of variable resistors that are permanently set on infinite resistance. <laughs> this was the best one I could find. There's a couple spots in that variable resistor that are um, cheeky. So that's what we're seeing here. But basically I want to show how tuning the resistance changes the capacitance in this um, RLC circuit. Okay, I'll be right back. I want to set this up to show you the same thing with a different setup. Okay, so now I want to show this sort of bit of an eccentric RLC circuit. So i had been working with the Tesla hairpin and this will look familiar um, to people who followed that. So I have a capacitor instead of having just a normal tank circuit or an RLC circuit. What I've done is put the resistor well, now this is a variable resistor in this um, circumstance. Um, in between the capacitor plates, and you'll remember from the very start of the video, there's no continuance, right? Um, like I showed through the capacitors, dielectrics, right? But tuning this variable resistor with the capacitors in this arrangement will also tune the capacitance of the capacitor, just like we just saw with the um, normal RLC circuit. So what I'm wondering is, is if since the variable resistor is between the capacitor dielectrics, um, whether there's dampening, right, of this circuit like we saw with, or like we learned with the RLC circuit. And theoretically, there's no dampening with the LC tank circuit. So I was wondering about that, wondering people's opinions about that. You know, obviously it'll have to be, I'll be monkeying with that a bit too. But also this, this demonstration I'm going to do right now will show of this, will show that this is a pretty cool uh, variable, quick, dirty, um, quick and dirty variable cap with beef, right? Um, these capacitors are beefy. Uh, the variable caps we normally find are very, very tiny capacitance, uh, like in radios and things like that. So, you know, this could be a good uh, way to find resonance in a circuit, or if you have big coils next to a wheel like mine, um, 
something that requires a little more capacitance, but you want to find the resonant frequency, right? This might be a cool way to do it, and I wanted to show. So, I'll zoom back out. Adjust a bit. So I have this set up now, just like in this circuit. The variable resistor is in between these two capacitors. Oh, got to turn my LC meter on. And I have it turned down to zero resistance, the variable cap. And please remember that this variable resistor isn't the best. I don't have any that aren't buggered <laughs> due to experimenting. So what I'm going to do is turn the resistance up slowly and you see the capacitance dropping it's tuning again remember this isn't the ideal resistor there are um, spots in that resistor that are really bad uh, I think my I think my my meter went dead. The battery was dying. Sorry about that. How horrible video. But we saw that it changed the capacitance. So between the variable resistor being a little bit cheesy and the battery dying on my LC circuit, you know, it wasn't the ideal demonstration. Sorry about that everyone. But we saw that it changes the capacitance and I know it does cuz I've done this way more than once here in the last few days and you can try it for yourself um, but very cool and I was wondering about the dampening of the oscillation because it's isolated um, um, through the dielectrics like we saw at the beginning of the video um, the con there's no continuance there I'm wondering if that would dampen the oscillation like the normal uh, RLC circuit would Anyways, wanted to share that. This, and again, sorry about the poor demonstration here. Um, if I had a, a new battery in this thing and a, a, a better unbuggered uh, variable resistor, you'd see, you know, it, you can tune it nicely and it's beefy. It's not like those little nanofarad caps we get out of radios, you know, you can change the capacitance here. And be aware that when you put capacitors in series like this, uh, the capacitance changes, right? The voltage rating of the capacitors gets added together, right? But the, um, the common thing to think is that the um, capacitance stays the same. It doesn't. It'll, it'll, it changes as well. A little bit. <clears throat> Anyways, wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm um, wondering about this dampening. Um, I haven't seen this arrangement anywhere on the net, so I was wondering about it. There you are, something to mull over. Um, I'm going to be watching football now all day, all night. <laughs> Woohoo! There you go. Uh, quick video for you on the uh, quick and dirty variable capacitor. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.